Maybe you just have a bad clothing brand idea. This is one of the absolute hardest realities for most clothing brands to consider. And really this applies to anybody running a business or trying to start up a business is that maybe you just have a bad business idea. The purpose of this video here isn't to crap on anybody or to tell you that you have a good or bad brand idea. It's to present to you the possibility that maybe your brand idea needs some work. And I wanna share with you some stories of friends of mine that have tried to start up clothing brands and just they're coming to terms with the fact that maybe their idea just simply wasn't good enough. What you can do from this place if you feel like that's where your clothing brand's at and what it looks like to actually have a great clothing brand idea that you can have faith in that will go the distance. So I really hope that you enjoy. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. If you struggle with designs, I recommend that you try them out. You post a project on Design Crowd, super talented designers from all over the world are gonna compete for your project. You choose the winner, then you get that design plus revisions. I've legit sold thousands of these designs on my website and I got them all made through Design Crowd. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you or just use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. All right, so you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I wanna share with you a quick story here from one of my friends who was starting up a clothing brand and just his journey into discovering that he had a really bad clothing brand idea. So one of my friends about two years ago, he was starting up a clothing brand that was based on this word that him and his friends would call each other and they, it was kind of one of these things where friends would kind of roast each other and joke around with each other. And so they were almost like putting down each other in a funny way. And so they'd call each other like degenerates. Now the actual brand name was a much worse word than degenerates, but I don't want to share the actual brand name and expose him here. But basically he was trying to build this whole brand off of a word that was self-deprecating in nature. And since his friends were all calling each other that and they thought it was funny, he thought that there would be other people in the world that would want to associate themselves with it and also want to wear it. And no offense to my buddy, but this is why I always talk about how delusional people can be around their clothing brand ideas when they, they think that they have this remarkable idea because they see money signs in their eyes and they think that everything's just gonna go great. And then when they launch, they realize the reality of the world and how harsh the market can be. What he didn't realize when he first started up with his brand idea is that nobody wants to associate themselves with being low lives. No one wants to wear something on their body that is symbolizing that they are lower in social status, that they are a low life, that they are nobody. And that's basically what the word that he launched his brand with was all built on. So his brand literally only lasted like two or three months. He posted on Instagram a few times. Nobody was interested. Nobody wanted it. And you could argue that, hey, maybe if he was a bit more consistent with it and he tried to sculpt it into some sort of funny, comical brand idea that was self-deprecating humor, he could have pulled it off. But just in general, these types of clothing brand ideas tend to not do very well because normally it's in our nature to want to improve our status to want to increase our social status and to want to be perceived in a better light rather than a worse light. The most powerful way to think about this when it comes to assessing your own clothing brand idea is there are things that people really strongly want to identify with and then there are things that people really just don't want to identify with. And usually the things that people really strongly want to identify with have a very strong emotional appeal and they're very cultural. Like a lot of people want to identify with politics or the country that they're from. Like I know that I sell a lot of the K-Bud clothing for my own clothing brand because it's very patriotic in nature. People like representing K-Bud because it's the way that we talk here in Canada. It's hilarious Canadian slang and people like to own that. And it's all wrapped up in their identity as Canadians. Like people generally like to wear things that are an expression of who they are and an expression of their identity. That's why a lot of college campuses and university campuses sell so many of their clothing that is associated with their university University or their college is because if you got into Harvard, so many people want to wear that they're, that they're from Harvard or whichever school you're from. You want to own that as a part of your identity. Then there's things that people just simply don't want to identify with, even if it is a part of their reality and it is a part of their life. Like maybe they're dead broke and they don't have a lot of money. Nobody wants to wear clothing on them that's like, I make zero money, like I'm dead broke. Like 
dead broke society or something like that, right? So you, you need to think about things in terms of what are the things that people really want to identify with. And what I see most common with clothing brands are clothing brand ideas that people don't either want to strongly identify with or they don't want to strongly not identify with and they just have really no desire to identify with it at all because there's nothing to connect to. Like for example, if you came up with a clothing brand that was all about living in the clouds, it's like people just can't sink their teeth into it. They don't know what that's all about. They just don't care because there's just nothing to identify with and there's not even anything to really hate. It just doesn't really make any sense. And so that's why having something that with a strong identity that's very clear and not confusing and not ambiguous, but very clear and concise will really help you make sales and build a strong identity for your brand. The way to build a successful clothing brand is to offer value. And the way to offer value in clothing is to either sell because of the emotion that people are going to be receiving when they buy your clothing, because of the design and style fits with their identity, or because there's some utility value in the products themselves, like it's gonna keep them warm in a cold environment, or there's a special pocket for certain events or something like that. There has to be a clear value proposition for your brand in order for you to make sales. In my personal opinion, and this may be controversial, there are way too many brands popping up every day that have absolutely zero innovation to them. And it's almost like a waste of time because they're trying to sell this brand that has zero product market fit. It doesn't have anything about the brand that is based in anything real that anybody would really want to strongly identify with. And it's always the brands that are truly innovating that see that market and have that vision for how they can offer real value and connect that will always end up getting the best results. So whether you think you have a good idea or a bad idea, just understand that your idea for your brand is very important. The concept, the whole foundation, and everything that your brand is being built on. And so I really hope that this video helped you sort that out and assess what you need to do with your own clothing brand moving forward. We've got over a hundred clothing brands now inside of the Apparel Success Mastermind, which is a monthly subscription where you get access to all my courses, exclusive live streams, a community of clothing brand owners, all in there helping each other, answering each other's questions, and direct access to me. And if you wanna sign up, you can sign up at apparelsuccessmastermind.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.